Greetings, everyone. This is Twitch Tuesdays with C. Morgu, and I did not open the game yet. So let's let the game boot up here first. Looks like the server's correct, everything's up. So, what are we doing today? I don't even know. Oh, Twitch is going to have um, chat captured. So when you do replays, chat will replay. Nice. Yeah, so you don't have to capture chat. Well, it's still useful for mobile if you're full screen. Ch capturing chat's nice, but you don't have to do it now because it'll be there. And if somebody was purge or moderated, then it'll never show up. So you know how if you uh, kick somebody, all their messages go away? Well, they'll never appear now in the chat when it replays because they were kicked or banned or whatever. Yeah. It's a neat uh, little feature that's... They're starting to record now, and then the playback will be enabled later once it's up and running, from what I understand. Thunder Home Slayers. E-Star... Ryum. Hmm. I kind of want to get into the Thunder Home, but not on this character. Oh, well, let's go ahead and do that then. I would change of plans. Oh, I really dislike when that happens. So hold on a second. Let's do a switch of character here if it'll let me log out. Third try, fourth try, fifth try, ah, there it goes. I'm going to bring on my static group, Orlock, and we'll do this. And I have a key, so I get the evening star quickly. Thunderhoom Slayers in the party. my stuff on as I'm running. Mm, I think we're going to go chain probably. Oops. That wasn't chain, that's chain.
So if you'd like to join, I'm in this uh, Thunderhome Slayer party on Thalanus. I can. Looking for... I really don't know where the things are. Journals and stuff, so... Just sort of poke around. Follow people where I can. The aesthetic group is very casual. There's no real structure to it. It's, we just play our warlocks all in one party on Thursdays. So I don't really mind running it outside of the group. As long as we're similar level and all that, it doesn't matter. Details don't matter. Mari at a hundred. I don't even think I have a pot running. Battle Rager. Hopefully we'll be killing the uh, two things to open the teleporters. And we are almost full, which is good. Been in a couple failed uh, Thunder Homes recently, so it's nice to have one that's actually filling up and everything. Yay, ingots. Loving it. Only a fool prophecy and then for it to come through. No, 
Hey, Cordovan, how's it going? Hey, Titan, how's it going? Yeah. I figure you guys might have some of that going on. Last minute details all getting ironed out. have to be getting some more ingots. XP is okay, that's not really what I'm here for though, I'm really for, here for the ingots. There's one back here. Almost missed it. Its powers are at their pinnacle, and the Empire goes from strength to strength. Yet we must not forget that the Nether Reefs are doomed to fall to the Dracoliches in the end. Until that day comes, yeah, I'm purposely avoiding spoilers for the event. I want to go in cold. Hopefully I can get some of the work done that I have pending, so I can actually watch during the workday as well. I saw something about some things being named after devs and characters and stuff, and I thought that was interesting, but I didn't want to read anymore, so I stopped. So yeah, Friday, everybody. Friday's a big day. 12-hour anniversary stream. New event, lots of fun stuff happening. Freebies, Q and A sessions. Be there. Can he really hear the dog from downstairs? Because I'm upstairs and he really shouldn't be audible. But his nails are pretty long at the moment. I think the animals might be getting fed now. Oh, I'm out of heel scrolls. <laughs> oops. Oops, oops, oops. Ooh, named Magma Brute. This should be fun.
I just scrounged around for some gear for this character, so they're doing better than they were, but I still need to work on gear. Then just not let somebody else lead and just sit back and do what I can. Oh yay. Death Knight was done. It's now finished to the emissary. We'll be good. This is kind of what I want to do on Thursday on this gr static group that we have. Come in here and get some ingots so everybody can get some Thunderforge stuff going. And of course all Warlock group would be easy to get through a lot of this. this area really I'm like oh yeah okay that was the Thunder Forge I understand that we were in the area of it but as for details I don't really know I do need to pick up peel scrolls though gotta remember that Doop, doop, doop. <clears throat> been talking to the SO about maybe streaming more often. To see what happens. They just switch shifts, so we're never on the same shifts. So we actually see each other more, and then if I start streaming, it'll be kind of, well, we're not going to see each other as much again. So, not ideal. If I can commit to an hour or two most days, then that's something. I'm already at 400 enemies slain in the room just by walking in and doing some.
Yeah, I don't know how all these things go. This way, that is this way. Whee. I don't know what that is that I can't. I suddenly can't see, but it's annoying. So much fun to defeat. Actually, they're not bad as luck. Okay, we're headed towards the emissary. That's awesome. The old market quarter was once the bustling heart of Thunderhorn. Now it serves as a citadel for Ogler Laros's Court of the Dragon. This might be going for quite a while. I mean, it keeps filling up as soon as people leave. Somebody else is back in, so. This is the best group of, like this that I've seen in a while. Yeah, 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 traps. Uh, there's no room at the moment, dude. Just watch the LFMs if it comes up. Try to get in. It's not my group, and it's full. Very mobile boss. And dead. Yeah, 
Yay, more ingots. All right, what are we doing now? I know there's a scroll around somewhere. I don't remember where it is, but I know there's one around here somewhere that I haven't gotten yet. pull up a map that would be helpful probably well, the maps of this place are pretty confusing because there's so many levels I thought it was like around the back of one of these and there was just one just sitting in fact I thought it was by the door there it is yay Um, looks like we're recalling. Five or triple of death worm. Repairing. Just saw some stuff off real quick. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, there's one opening now. Two openings now. Oh, the leader left. That might be the death of this party. Yep. Oh, well. I got part of what I wanted. I got the two flagging things done. Does that mean this guy can talk to me now? And I can go to the forge. So, yeah. That's the important thing. Be able to quickly go to the forge now. Uh, how many did I get, actually? That would be nice to know. 17. Yeah, it's a start. That is a start. Let's see what else is going on. I want to do that. I don't know if I have to do that manually or I don't know if I'm able to get there in time. They're already part way through it. I might just catch the end, which is fine because if I get the chest, that'll be perfectly fine. Hit that real quick. Boop, 
move that orchard. Let's see what I can do about getting into this wall. Let me talk to him. Yes. Not to walk. It's perfect. I really just want some drops, which if I have to go, just chain to get the drop there and I don't have to worry about chest, that's fine too. Although I think I'm wearing most of the stuff from here. I scavenge my other characters to get the... Oh, I have Feather Fall. Well, isn't that nice? I can take care of a weep, right? Maybe. Alright, where'd that come from? It's because I thought I got him. Oh, good. Um, I can go ahead and buff up. I think this is Kramust. Yeah, it is. It's Kramust. That's annoying. I've got ruin, but I can't use it because I'm raged. Why am I raged? <laughs> that was an easy 50k, and... No drops. Oh well. I think I've got mostly orchard gear in this character. Inferno. Cool. Wow, aren't those guys annoying? Like somebody's walking, so yeah. Epic glimpse of the soul. Oh, that's what I have. I have blood rage on the epic locus of all. I don't have a cloak on. Why do I not have a cloak on? 
Oh, I'll put a cloak on just to have something. Have a hundred elite streak on this character. That's cool. And I forgot healing scrolls again. To be fair, I did want to hurry to get to that quest, but I did forget healing scrolls. Four people, four people. Yay. Sheets of flame engulf the walls of the inferno of the dawn. I haven't done this in a while. So I'm gonna be in follow mode. Till it clicks again. Ignite the flames to ignite the guardian. The voice rasps. A flame flares to life, bringing the guardian with it. Go to the inferno and find the guardian's remains. I have to do it this way. Come on. The slow way. I wonder if I can use those scrolls. annoying
much nicer if you have somebody you can cast the stuff or scroll it at least. Yes, yes, we know you can lighten. How about you? See, if you would have been up here, he would have done the right thing on the right thing. I'm not liking this necklace. I need to switch it out, which I knew anyway. It was just some placeholder. Something to wear. So I didn't really have anything. All told, this isn't going too bad. I just need to look up the scrolls to do this if I do this again. Yes, yes, you're an air elemental. I see that. Oh, what a jerk. And he missed because he was behind the stone. Or did he get it? I can't tell. No, don't look. Really he got it. That one he got. Doop doop boop. So yeah, that uh, necklace. I'll just flip it because I'm tired of that blood rage stuff. Boop, 
boop, boop. Oh, yay. That hurt a bit. Really need those heals. This one with the extra chest that I miss half the time. Yep, it is. Might as well try to find air elemental. On, dude. Why are you going back that way? I hit you and everything. You should hate me. He went through the fire. Hello, Carlos Kit. How's it going? Greetings, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, this goes much better when you can cast the right spells. Hmm, oh well. We are getting it done slowly. We do Doomsphere next. I could probably do uh, Mental on my own if I need to. 
So really Vol's the easiest, I think. See if you Oh, I don't know how you got that. I'm glad you got it, but I don't know how it happened. Come on, baby. All right, where's the last one? Is it south? It is indeed south. But there's nowhere for the guys to come from, so we need to drag one from somewhere else. Come on, baby. Keep coming. This, oh, yeah, we can't hit him anymore. Guess he'll die, and then we have to go get another one. Where are you going, dude? Oh, no. I don't usually use skills like Intimidate, but this is one of those times where it comes in handy. The fourth undead oh, finally. Alright. Now this should be just an easy, quick, little kill. Get some loot and on to the next one. The Cinder Spawn falls without making any mention of the Black Abbot. Perhaps someone else controlled the creature? No love there either. Nope. 
now? Are we going to the next one or what? Fleshmaker, okay. Looks like Doom Sphere's last, or they already did it. Either way, it's fine. Fleshmakers, you have to run if you have to. Yep, looks like Gops last, so loot. Grave robbers sort through the discarded body parts, looking for anything of value. The stench of refuse is overwhelming. Seals off the drop shaft to the chopping room. You land on the floor. A stream carries fresh zombies into the chopping room. Oops. I missed slightly. Ah, it's just temporary HP, who cares, right? It's not real HP, so it doesn't matter. I don't have a knock. Or the key. here. That's one way to stop them from stunning you, is kill them before they have a chance to do their stuns. Three thousand damage, that's not bad. It's not really spammable, but I will take it. Lost in thought. Mencow's bride is busy at work in the control room. It's just habit to get these.
I should have invis probably. I'm distracting him so he can get the red stuff on him, so that's all we need. Quick and easy. So unlike the last one. Ah, uh, I didn't have a... Ah, uh, I thought I had wings left. I didn't. The true source of the machine's disruption appears. Bye, Carlos Kit. quick 200k to do all these real quick particularly if you have the uh, inferno necessities We're good. The tunnels run deep beneath the tree of woe. We'll find out. Naming lost souls. Several philosophers more curiously. The wayward philosophers gathered on the ice. Soulbound brothers appear above and below. This is our chance to be together again, brother. Not sure what rate I can take the brothers down at. So I'll probably stick up here. Taking her time. I 
Hey Mari, how's it going? Greetings, welcome, good evening. Hope you're having a good night. Looks like it's time to turn the damage on. Hey, Sydney. What a coincidence, you two showing up around the same time. Hmm. Hope you're all doing well this evening. It's almost like you had a guild night or something that's over. It's funny how you get to know the habits of people sometimes. Yeah, we're killing, we're killing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got it. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I gotta remember that the uh, Misty Escape has a long cooldown. I keep wanting to use it too often. I'm used to my monk with a very short cooldown. Yep, that's a good habit. I like it. The souls of the frozen conservators are bound to the magical cage that imprisons the doom soul. The doom sphere's most trusted advisors were encased in ice. A cruel reminder of his pact with the black hat. The second soul has been released. Doop, doop, doop. Oh. Yeah, but it's been pretty uh, relaxing tonight. There hasn't been much going on. Did some Thunderhome Slayers doing the Orchard rounds. It looks like I might cap Legendary Dreadnought, which is nice because I want to get out of it. Or now I have that other have to fill down. I have to max it out still. Oh, I suppose I could put some hit points on. And I need to remember heal scrolls. I won't remember heal scrolls. I'll completely forget again. Sometimes your momentum just takes you weird places on these falls. The doom rage is by the abyss. Can't even get down there before he's ready to go to the next phase. Anybody get love? Nope. Whole thing and no love. Oh well. Oh. Yep, more locks are fun. Looks like that's it for that party. So, let's 
go see if we get any love in the uh, in chain list. That would be nice. <laughs> Big sugar. How's it going? I forgot to leave the party. Oh, reconstruction of healing amp. Well, you know, covers your bases, I guess. Press a trophy. Guild needs renown. Constitution 11, Vertigo 12. That's somewhat tempting. Damping a notification. Nope, I'm just a trophy again. Daft. Whirlpool. <laughs> Tom Strength. Comet Mastery. Insight Spot. Intelligence 12. Use Insight will use Magic Device 2 and a yellow slot. That's pretty nice. I don't really. I only have one. Intelligence based character. Did I not take that? Okay. So, quarter for prizes, which is the one I didn't want. Seraphim, which uh, I didn't want. Crap. Charisma 11. Resonance for four and shampoo for sheltering. I mean, it's not horrible. I'm going to go ahead and take it, but I don't know if I need it. I think I might already have two, so this is the third. It's kind of... I do really like that even if you don't take those, you can get the rewards by uh, talking to the people. It's a nice feature of these. It's not like those old ones where you, if you don't talk to the right people twice, and only twice. Well, minimum's got to be once per quest, right? I mean, that's got to be minimum, I would think. Although I haven't died tonight yet. Knock on something. Oh, why did I not take the teleport? Speaking of teleport, why am I walking? Sometimes I forget which characters have teleport. It makes getting around so much easier. Especially back from Evening Star and other far off places. <laughs> if you're not pulling a train of 50 moms and dying at least once, you're not doing it right. We have standards here. Bards. Bards. That's an interesting belt. Impulsive combat mastery. Constitution 11, I'm keeping that. Anyway, if the stat like that would be pretty.
probably handy at some point for some character. I can kind of... Yeah, there you go. If you're not dying, you're not trying. That's good. How much is too much? Not enough. When I was back, when I was going to conventions and that, oh, hey, look, I got a... See, there's why I didn't have a cloak equipped. I was waiting for that to come in from the auction. I remember now. Now I have resistance 10. No, that isn't what I wanted either, is it? I already have resistance something, don't I? I already have resistance 11. Oh, well. Whatever. That was before I put found that stuff and put it on. Wasted a little bit, but I need the uh, upgraded Sage of Skull Cap, that's for sure. Wiz King times two, I could probably do that. <laughs> yeah, back when I was going to conventions and. Um, oops, not him, him. Went to Anime Hell. That was a recurring video, um, an old PSA called How Much is Too Much? And it was about basically over drinking and such. But the rallying cry after that line was not enough. So you have the one of those you know old PSA announcers. And how much is too much? And you have everybody in the audience screaming not enough. Kind of like, you know, MST3K or Rocky kind of stuff. Yeah, it, it the teleporter saves a lot of time from the guild ship. Presuming your guild ship is laid out nicely. Of the guild ships I've been on, ours is laid out probably the best that I've experienced. In my opinion. And welcome to Sparkles69. How's it going? Hey, BA97, how's it going? I have no giveaways, but uh, I don't know, Cordovan was around earlier. He said he was having a late night doing planning for the 10th anniversary stuff. Probably missed the initial bit, but oh well. Not concerned about that too much. Yeah, there's Friday, the 12 hour stream from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern. Quarter Friends going to be on, giving away all sorts of stuff. There'll be new anniversary event things happening and. All funs of stuff. All the fun stuff happening. If you don't have an invisible mini Starker yet, you still have plenty of opportunities to get one. I have not looked, I have not been on Lamania, so I have not seen what the uh, new stuff is at all and I don't want that spoiled so if you have that's great but I don't want to know about it that's why I wanted to kill some of those guys so they wouldn't do that and Cordovan will be on tomorrow presumably for his normal Wednesday thing and Gemini will be on tomorrow night for his usual Wednesday thing. Ooh, 
Whew. All right, you guys are getting nasty. Let's take some of that stuff out. I don't even know if I did anything to it or not. I didn't see any numbers flying. He's invulnerable anyway. Sometimes those bursts don't break those things. The Calgarian, hey, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Yes, this game does have a learning curve. And it is pretty steep. But you can usually find some helpful people to guide you or run quests with you or something. Um, in fact, if you tell us your server, there probably is somebody on who plays that server and could help. So yeah, there's all sorts of things. I mean, the game's evolving all the time, so even if you know what you're doing, you know, one time you might uh, have a different experience after an update. And things, differently things happen. So, you know, keep playing. There's lots of stuff going on. There's events and there's a help channel on every server. Sometimes there's an unofficial help channel on every server that's even better than the regular help channel. There's all sorts of ways to learn. I always say the best way to play is to get on a server. Just pick one and at the time you would normally want to play and see who's on. See if you can find groups. Um, see if you can find a guild that's on at that time and plays in that time. And if not, switch to another server and try there. So I know, for example, on the Lonus, there's a big Japanese presence. So Japanese gaming hours, which are early morning U.S. time, there's a lot of people on, or there's more people on, I wouldn't say a lot necessarily, but there's more people on during that time than there is sometimes during the later midday. And then the Europeans get on, and the Americans get on, so... Which kind of depends which server and which time zone and all that you get on. Still don't have them all. Let's take in um, the other dude. Yeah, VIP can be worth it. Um, I about broke even, I think, on VIP versus non-VIP, because I bought all the packs anyway. But, in my opinion, if you don't have the adventure packs, get the adventure packs. If you're free to play, otherwise go VIP. And the best thing to spend your points on, just quality of life, is big bags and inventory space. Bank space, that sort of stuff. It's just nice to have all that. See you, Mari. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, me. That's the other one. Sometimes I remember the names of the guys, and sometimes I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I have a phylactery on me already or not. So let me lock that real quick. And there, so we're ready to grab that. And then I could detour and go for loot, but I think I'll just pop out. We're doing it twice. Yep. There's plenty of helpful people around. That's one of the reasons we like this game, I think. A lot of people just... You'll find lots of builds. Uh, people help you with builds and gear and crafting and getting through quests. And 
all sorts of stuff. And yeah, all the streams we have here on DDO stream, um, lots of players just stream on this channel like myself, quarter of the community manager streams on here. Um, you know, there's lots of ways to learn stuff. Um, there's YouTube videos. Several people do those regularly. Um, my streams I archive on YouTube as well, so there's plenty of places to watch those. You've got options, that's what I'm saying. game's great because there's so much character customization. I mean, the class race combinations and all that. You can multi-class and there's different enhancement trees and it makes it really fun and interesting, but that first time you go and try to figure out all your options, it's a bit much. Or it can't be a bit much, especially if you haven't played pen and paper D&D. Then there's nothing quite like it out there. Action combat's nice. And of course the reincarnation system, once you hit 20 or 30, you can reincarnate and that brings up a whole nother set of things that can happen. Oh, I fell. My misty escape was down and I chose poorly and yeah. So, but at least I'm a warlock, so I can take care of it pretty quickly. And yeah, I mean, people play different ways, and they have different little tips and tricks that they do, so it, there's always a chance to learn something completely new and different when you play or watch somebody else play or in a group with somebody. Be interesting. I still want to start this other show about how to go fast in some of these quests, but uh, real life has been happening and uh, plans for that have gotten delayed, so. We'll get to it eventually. There are several, depending on what level you are and how fast you are leveling. Um, in fact, there's some really good posts in the forums about which ones you should probably take, which ones are the best ones. If you're low level, Catacombs is good, Choice, Chanticoor. Um, if you're leveling pretty quickly, you probably want to hold off and get some higher level stuff. Because there's plenty of XP in the lower levels. and once you get to mid levels, maybe you'll look at Giant Hold and uh, Veil in the mid to high levels. Yeah, you're going to want Giant Hold then, and then Veil are the two.
they're kind of the classic ones that everybody knows and runs a lot. So you'll always find groups. And um, the thing, nice thing about giant holes, it is also epic. So you can play it in later levels as well. It's something like 15 and 25, I think, are the levels somewhere around there. So that's the kind of thing you want to look at when you're looking at packs is where you're where you are and where you're going, and knowing that if, I mean if you don't know already, DDO Wiki is a great resource for lots of questions that are too deep or if you want more detail about things. There's you know free to pay quest lists and paid back quest lists and links to forum posts about which ones are good and stuff. But uh, as a general rule, Giant Hold and Catacombs, or not Catacombs, Giant Hold and uh, Veil vale are going to be your main ones for later heroic leveling. That'll ease the transition there. And then if you need more experience, there's other packs available. If you get tired of running those, but those get pretty good XP and they can pretty well, especially as a first lifer, you can get to 20 pretty easy using them. In fact, once I get rid of, I mean, when I do my iconic reincarnations, I've been pretty much using the Lord's March quests and then going into the Giant Hold and then Veil and then I'm done. I'm at 20. So. That's pretty much how you want it to work. Boop, boop, boop. As I can get back to here so I can get out of the group, I will do so. Go. I have some memory I have to take care of back at the ship, and I still haven't gotten healing scrolls. So I think that'll be my next priority before I even go back to the ship. Resonating Dagger of Sonic Lore uh, with Charisma Damage. That's probably not going to be beatable. Yep, I'm going to pick that up. Let's go over to the bank. Make sure I lock that sucker. Well, I can bank it. Eh. Healing Scroll. Before I forget, I need Heal Scrolls. That's, that's the thing I need need to be able to heal. Oh, and I've maxed that Legendary Dreadnought. I didn't even notice. Woot. So I can start farming a different destiny now. Uh, scrolls Divine. There we go. Show me heal. Ah, get that out of my way. 99 scrolls of heal. Thank you very much. And they showed up, so all I need to do is lock them and throw them back in the later tab. I don't care about the flactory. Uh, what was I going to look up?
I can't get any of the ones I want there, I don't think. Um, I could run to airship. Now let's just do this. <laughs> Every week, somebody in the guild is pretty much buying spell point potion, or I uh, know, um, whatchamacallits. These things, spell components. Like, oh yeah, I forgot spell components again, and we're already like in the quest. And it's, it took us, you know, 20 minutes to get there because everybody's just doing their thing. Getting on and get ready, and then, oh yeah, spell components. So glad they stack now. That makes it a little bit easier on the Thieves tools. I haven't been running my rogue very much, so I haven't bothered collecting them. But I can probably use some more. Oh, no, no, no. Cure. Curse. Cure. Disease. Yay, my rat's gone. Let's look at destinies real quick after I repair. Oh, I already repaired her. Didn't get hit. Okay. Destinies. Where are we at? Legendary Dreadnought. I wanted to take Khan and... There's nothing I really want. Let's take Advancing Blows. Hey, there we go. So, I've got two Marshall... So the question is, do I want to go get Cocoon, or do I want to finish up with Grandmaster for the Marshal? I think I want to get Cocoon, so I need to go Shirati. Which, hey, I'm a Warlock, so theoretically Shirati has some things for me. I don't have a third point. Let's see what my points are at now. Khan's even, Charisma is odd, Dex is even. Mm. That's junk. Oh, that's junk. I guess I'm okay. Yeah, that's why I have my components over here on the right. Um, yeah, searching the tier cache, or even just a remove all tier cache button would help as well. Um, I know I've read some things about dev comments that well it's not really meant to be an alternative bank and in that case you know um maybe they don't want to do that but at least give us a remove all button so you don't have to do that every time item by item especially with the delay Okay, we'll drop the cat here shortly. No, we can just drop him. I think that'll be more effective. Yep. Um, so it looks like this will be it for me. Electric, electricity absorption and resistance. I've gotten some really good items tonight that have dropped that have two of the same thing on them, which is awesome. I'm going to take a look. So, yeah, this is going to be it for me, I think, tonight. Um, do you want to say thank you, everybody, for stopping and watching? And I can spell thanks, too. I know it's sad that I have to go... But real life calls. So thanks for watching. Uh, hey, Leslie, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. Titan, B Hagen, Big Sugar, City, Mari. Um, I'm sure there were some other people in there. Sparkles, the Calgarian. everybody for stopping by thank you appreciate it see you next week if not before i'm not sure when i'll be streaming out otherwise um 
and uh, catch out our other shows. Are the damsels on this week, Lessa? Always. Hey, Cordovan, thanks for being here as well. And again, don't forget the Friday stream, the anniversary stream, 12 hours, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Have fun, everybody, and a good night.